One rainy Seattle day. good to see you guys. So, one of the problems that I was having with the Hunter, the painting that I just finished up last week, was that I decided to use a doodle grid to transfer over my sketch. Because a lot of times when I'm working on canvases, I can erase all of it. But for some reason on this one, a lot of the smudging, I just couldn't erase off. And it came out kind of dirty in the background. I should have just been more careful and more intelligent about it and do what I'm doing now, which is using transfer paper. And that way I can just put do the doodle grid onto this newsprint. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. What's good everybody? My name is Modi, this is Modi Makes, and today we're getting back into it with another canvas piece from the Blue Mini series. This one entitled The Farmer. It's a little bit more of a frilly floral type piece <laughs> than some of the stuff I've been making recently. I'm going back to one of my OG favorite color combinations of the, the light pink and the golden yellow because uh, I, I just love the combo. It's very nice. <laughs> and uh, the farmer is a peaceful creature who tends to his garden growing his flowers and he is incredibly patient and it's kind of like the uh, the motherly figure or the fatherly figure. The being who's willing to nurse the things that they care about around them uh, to watch them grow and get satisfaction in being able to be a part of these living things lives and uh, so let's get into it shall we? See how this came out. Nice. That worked out excellently. Swoosh. With the extra flare.
There you have it. We put pitchfork to page or maybe cowhide to canvas. <laughs> I don't know. The painting of the farmer is complete. And you know, when I first made the digital sketch for this guy, I was having some bad creative block and I wasn't really sure if I liked how it was coming out and I didn't really feel like I liked the sketch, but the digital sketches always look worse than the physical paintings once they're completed. And now that I'm finished with it on the canvas and it's at a larger size, I think I actually like it quite a bit. Um, I'm always about floral patterns and stuff. I really like putting flowers into my work. I really just like flowers in general. I think you guys, if you guys have seen the uh, video of the painting of the soldier, you'll notice that I have some flower motifs in that one too. And that's uh, something that's always been a big part of my work. Um, so I, it was fun to be able to put a lot of that into this one and like have a lot of different kinds of flowers. So with that quick little explanation out of the way, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really truly do appreciate it. Um, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. It helps out a lot. And if you like me, if you like the channel and you want to help support me, the best thing that you can do is to subscribe. After that, let me know what you guys think of the piece down in the comments below. And if you guys have any recommendations on anything you want to see me do in the future or any questions about anything I have done um, or my process or anything like that, I'd be happy to check it out and I will be answering all of those comments for you guys. And with that out of the way, and without further ado, let's get in those final shots, shall we? And uh, yeah, let's see, what am I missing? Anything else? It's almost in a little bit of a selfish way, but at the same time, it's a selfless act, even if done selfishly which I think ends up at least coming out even. <laughs> I don't know, that's not how I do it. So.